Hi, everyone. It is this week's Ask Rad, and um, we're doing it right here in the dining room where I have one of the two trees that we have in the house, so that'll be fun. <clears throat> hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. Uh, two cameras, just like usual. So um, I caught another cold. <laughs> Not fair. My inner child is screaming. <laughs> <clears throat> But we, uh, we're going to try to get through this as best we can because I don't want to leave you without your angel messages for the week. So we're going to be doing those. Uh, and I thought we would do those this week with uh, uh, Animal Tarot cards. So this is the newest deck that I have out. It just came out in October. So I thought we would use Animal Tarot cards for this holiday week. <clears throat> and... Um, so let's uh, get busy with that. <clears throat> All right. Okay. And we'll see what the animals have to say for the week of December 18th through the 24th. Can you believe it? It's like here. It's almost here, everybody. It's almost here. All right. <clears throat> well, this makes sense. Uh, the first card that we have is is Three of Summer, and this is Hummingbirds. And so this is a card that's all about joy and, um, and, and happiness and happy news. So probably some good happy news on Monday and Tuesday of this week for us. So that sounds good. Hummingbirds are pretty miraculous um, because one of the things that they can do is they can fly up and down and back and forth. And, you know, and they, they, they sort of move around in a joyful dance. And so as we move into this pause, this holiday week, um, Try to stay in your happy place. Try to be in a place of happiness and joyfulness. Do your happy dance. Um, I know it can be really stressful this week. Um, and in fact, that's showing. I'll show you in a minute. But, you know, um, one of the things that I think that is really important and really powerful about the holiday season is, is that we get to be in this happy, joyful space. If we can have, sometimes that takes courage from us. And hummingbirds are very courageous. You may not know this, but if they've got a garden that they love, then they will nosedive other birds to keep them out of their garden. And so if somebody tries to get in your way, you know, just have the courage to be in your own joyfulness no matter what. <clears throat> Um, now for Wednesday, Thursday, and this, this makes sense. Okay. This is not a surprise. We have a card that's called ego. And, and so this is a card that talks about a lot of focus on material things. So maybe some last minute Christmas shopping's got you down. Maybe you're uh, running around trying to take care of all those things that unfortunately come in the holiday season. Um, so that's why it'll be important to remember that hummingbird energy. Okay. Just try to stay in your happy place, you know, and try to not be in a place where we're over focused on the stuff. Um, it's kind of hard. I know that, but try not to be overly focused on the stuff on when, especially Wednesday, Thursday. Now, once again, <clears throat> I mean, these cards are so spot on. I'm just so proud when they, you know, it's the animals. Animals are so psychic. I mean, my dogs know when someone they love is coming over, even though I've given them no reason to know. Animals are very psychic. And so we have, there's the last card, Princess of Summer. You know, one of the things that Princess of Summer really does talk about is social events. Well, come on, guys. It's going to, it's the last weekend before Christmas for people who celebrate that particular holiday. Uh, Hanukkah, I think, ends on the 20th. Um, and so that's coming up. Um, so, you know, there's this, um, this sense of the, of the social season and it'll be Christmas Eve on Sunday. Christmas Eve happens to be one of my absolute favorite. It is my favorite day of the year. And then, and I plan to spend Christmas Eve with you guys. We're going to 
do this. It might only be you, me, and two other people, but we're going to do this on Christmas Eve. And I'm going to tell you a lot about what Christmas Eve means to me next week, but not this week. <laughs> so uh, deer are, you know, they're beautiful. They're art, heart opening creatures. Let's face it. You just can't really look at a deer and not just have your heart open wide. And also Yule. Yes. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you so much for saying that. Yes, Yule. Yule. So it's like, so we have all of these, what I like to call this time of year, this the, the holidays of light. And I like to capitalize the L. Um, cause it really is. It's, it's the holidays of light in, in all ways and all, in all of these different traditions that are so important and so beautiful in their own right. So, so social events. So it makes a lot of sense. Don't let the, the stress of the holidays get you down. Stay in your happy place. Okay. Do your happy dance. Stay in joy. Don't let the materialism and all that kind of stuff drive you crazy. Try to stay in your happy place. And then let your heart be open as the weekend comes around and you um, uh, have this special time of, of socializing with people that you love and that you care about um, in the holiday season. So that's our reading for December 18th through the 24th. If uh, you missed any of it, this when this video is finished, it will be up where you guys can watch it at, from the beginning if you missed any part of it. And <clears throat> you can um, also see it on YouTube. You will also be able to see it on YouTube. So uh, for as I seem to be okay so far, I've been using this stuff. I don't know if you've ever seen this stuff. It's called Serious Cough. Um, um, it seems to kind of work to kind of quiet the cough. It's, it's, it's totally an herbal remedy. It is also, uh, for those of you who've never tried it, the worst tasting thing that mankind has ever created. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm, uh, you will notice that I'm not laughing as much. I'm trying to keep myself from laughing too much because that sets me off on a coughing jag. So, so, um, I'm just as happy as ever, but I'm just trying to be careful about that, at least while we have our time together today. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> uh, how am I feeling? I really feel fine. It's just a cough. Um, Talking too much, traveling too much, all of those little things. Just, you know, thank you. Anyway. All right. So let's see. Um, yes. Hi, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Yule. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, Kwanzaa. I don't know that much about that one. I should read up on it. Um, so anyway. All right. And thanks, everyone, for the beautiful tree. Um, one of the things that you might not know is that my husband and I, we have this thing um, about silver and gold. And uh, our rings are are, silver, are white and gold, um, white and yellow. And, and so uh, we have one silver tree. This is the tree that represents me. And there's another tree that is mostly gold, and that represents Lee. So that's just our little thing. All right. Enough on rad. Yes, I'm fine. All right. <clears throat> okay. Do you see? Let's see. Um, let's see if we can. Where did that one go that grabbed my eye? Um, so let's. So Roxana is asking, what messages do my guardian angels have for me and what are their names? What are their names? Okay. So Roxana. I actually, I always, this seems to happen and I just trust it that these, our guardian angel names start to come to me before I ever even go online with you guys on Facebook and Instagram. And so, um, I got the two names for the first person that I pick were Adoria and it's A-D-O-R-I-A -A, and that's a feminine energy and then Alice Stair. A L L E S T A I R E Alistair, and that is more of a masculine energy. And so, uh, this message, interestingly enough, seems to be about confidence. Um, uh, something about confidence for you, Roxana, where you really need to start to believe in yourself and your dreams. 
more, that also a confidence that you really do have what it takes to talk to angels um, and, and spirit guides <clears throat> and to really be of assistance to those you love in this particular way. Um, they're saying that there are people in your life who probably are not particularly open to these things. But you know what? It's like we don't always have to tell people um, um, where we're getting the information. So I but I will say this. I'm very, very anti um, uh, unsolicited readings. So, you know, it's like if you start to have a conversation with somebody and you sort of get an intuitive hit and it fits in the conversation, I think that that's fine. But I don't I, I'm really not a fan of someone going and going on someone's shoulder in the grocery store and saying, I have a message from beyond for you. I think that we scare people that way. And and uh, as I consider one of my life purposes to be to take the fear out of spirituality, I'm really not into um, um, scaring people <laughs> with spiritual information. So, Roxana, it's about confidence. It's about believing in yourself. And again, Adoria and Alice Stare. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. Uh, um, so business chakra balance wants to know, will my business flourish next year? Thank you. I've been coughing a lot too. I hope you are better. Well, like I said, business, I mean, you could try this stuff, but ooh, it does not taste good, but it seems to sort of help a little bit. And so you can try that if you want. So will your business flourish uh, this year? So that sounds like a really good question, actually, for the fairies. So we're going to go to fairy tarot cards for that and see what they have to say about your business in 2018. <clears throat> okay. Well, the, the first card is four of winter. So um, it might be a little bit of a, a sleepy winter. <laughs> so um, uh, th I think that during that time, um, it won't be all that flourishing. Um, but there is good news coming. All right. There's good news coming. <clears throat> um, five of summer, you, you pick up the pace a little bit. I'm mostly looking at the imagery here. Rather than the, anything else, my eyes were drawn to this woman, this fairy, and she's starting to have to pick up the pace and start to run a little bit. But the, here's where we here's where we come out at the end of the world. Uh, the end of the year is the world, which is a card of great success, great victory, getting exactly uh, where you want to be. So it looks pretty good um, uh, towards the end of the year. So you'll you'll you, I, so I think a sleepy beginning. Starting to pick up the pace in the middle, and then much things look much much better. Things look much much better. Um, so there you go. <clears throat> um, I do think that, and um, I've got a lot of new things planned for us um, as a family. Um, you guys on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, if that's where you're watching this. Um, I have a lot of things planned for 2018 because I just have this sense that it's going to be a really great year, but I want to kind of help to give you the tools for that. And so one of the things that we're going to be doing is uh, that event that I had planned for Friday in the United States, Saturday in Sydney, Australia. Um, we are, that is going to be, um, um, uh, coming back up, we are going to do it on Friday, December 29th at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern in the U.S. In Sydney, Australia, that will be Saturday, December 30th at 9 a.m. 
And what this event is, is this is an event, it's a two-part event, and the first part will be to help you guys learn how to talk to your own guardian angels and your own archangels to kind of help you get those skill sets by talking about some of my favorite ways in order to do that. But also, uh, there will be a, um, a meditation uh, to help you also connect you with your angels. I'm going to be doing a whole meditation series that is going to be coming up in 2018 uh, with all of the primary archangels and uh, some meditations on prosperity and abundance. But also I'm going to be doing a, um, a reading. I used to do these things called rad scopes. Anybody remember rad scopes? Well, I'm going to be doing rad scopes for 2018. And those will be available to you to give you guys an understanding what 2018 is going to look like for you guys, because I just have a good feeling about it. I'm also going to be bringing on uh, an amazing astrologer onto magical things, my radio show on Hay House Radio. And she's going to talk to us about 2018 as well. Give us an understanding of what the major astrological things are that are going to be happening in 2018. Because I feel like that if we have that information, it makes even and challenging um, um, in, uh, astrological um, squares and trines and whatever uh, easier to manifest. So these are all things that we're going to be doing that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. So, all right. <clears throat> I think it was, uh, I just did Instagram. So let's take a look here over on Facebook. Um Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see. So this says, will I get the job that I just applied for and would love my angel names and I love the bow tie? Thank you. I love your car. <laughs> your car is adorable. All right. <coughs> All right. So let's see. Oh, we've got another one that popped up accidentally. See, this is the problem that I'm having right now with, with the software I use. They made a change to it and it is making things weird. So now how do I get rid of that? Um, oh. I don't know how to get rid of it. It's stuck. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. Yay. Finally. I am so sorry, guys. I apologize for that. All right. So let's see. All right. So um, I think the question now I've lost the question. So I think the question was about angel names. So let's go there. So the first name that I get is. Eliana, and so it seems to be spelled E L L I A N A, Eliana, and then Victor. Eliana and Victor. I'm sorry, I don't remember what your question was. I got so distracted by trying to get rid of that, that message that I couldn't get rid of that I've lost the question. So, how about we just see what your angels have to say? So, Eliana says that she is here to help you now through a deeply emotional situation that you're going through, that she wishes to help, first of all, to soothe your concerns, but also to show you the perfect solution for all who are involved. 
She wants to introduce you to Archangel Raguel. Archangel Raguel, he comes in a pale robin's egg blue. His name means the friend of God. And Raguel helps to soothe out issues between people. So perhaps there is a situation going on in your life that where there is a challenge between you and somebody else or some difficulty between you and someone else. And so she wants to uh, invite Raguel to be a help with you in that situation. And she assures you that it is all going to turn out all right. So don't worry. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so let's see. Um, so Confetti Dreams, that's a cool name. Confetti Dreams on Instagram is asking for guardian angel names also. See, this is why you guys might want to come to the event that's on December 29th, December 30th, because there's so many of you, I can't get to everybody, but... You might be able to, therefore, get your own names if I don't get to you. So one of them is Ariana, A-R-I-A-N-A. -A -A. Um, and then the other one that I'm getting is Chloe in the traditional C-H-L-O-E spelling, Chloe and Ariana. Chloe and Ariana. You know, it's like they're sending me over. <clears throat> well, they're sending me over to... Guardian Angel Tarot cards. So we're going to do that um, for you, Confetti Dreams. Okay. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. All right. So these are really good cards. Uh, the first card is the um, Healer of Thought, and I really love Healer of Thought. Healer of Thought is, a, is she's equivalent to the Queen of Air in Angel Tarot cards, if you know that deck, or uh, Queen of Winter in some of the other decks. And one of the things that I like about her so much is that she's so no nonsense. I mean, she's just been through everything. She's seen it all. She's seen it all. And I think that for this, in this particular case, for Confetti Dreams, that this is a reading that has to do with relationship and stuff and romance. So you've seen it all. My, maybe you've either been single for a while or maybe you're feeling single in your own relationship because it just isn't giving you exactly what you need. But good news on that front. The next card for you is the lovers. This is part of the reason why I think that this is something about relationships. So when the lovers shows up, this is an, an, a situation that a relationship either comes into your life or perhaps the relationship that you're currently in has a revitalization, has a sense of coming back to life. Um, um, and maybe, I mean, maybe if, if you're in a relationship that where you haven't taken the plunge yet of getting married, this is the card of getting married. This is one of the things that this card means. It's that big, exciting information, or it might be getting engaged. But again, if you're in a relationship, these are definitely a resurgence. Definitely a resurgence in the relationship if you're in one. But if you're not in one, this bodes very well for what is coming for you when it, in, in a relationship. So there you go. <clears throat> Infetti dreams. So let's see. Uh, let's go back over to Facebook. Um, let's see. Um, all right. So Gail is saying, can you give me some news, please? Well, um, that's very uh, generic, uh, but... Um, yeah, we'll give you some news. <laughs> I don't know what it'll be, but let's see what we get. So, you know what? I think I'm wanting to grab um, um, Archangel Power Tarot cards for Gail. <clears throat> and we'll see what we get. All 
right, so um, here's the scoop. Um, <coughs> um, the first card is Ace of Ariel, so this makes me concerned a little bit that Kale has some money concerns or many worries. And the reason that I say that is because this is the card of the past. And as a card of the past, this is a card of abundance and prosperity, but it's sitting in the past. Um, so that makes me think that she is having a sense of things aren't going so great financially. And the next card is Page of Michael. So Page of Michael is a card that is a card where we get some information, but we don't really like the information all that much. <laughs> and very often we get information from somebody that uh, just doesn't, just isn't, they're too blunt. They aren't, they don't. They don't say things in a nice, soft way, but the message might actually be really good. And so we should keep the message. Finally, Nine of Michael, losing sleep, uh, excessive worry, um, worry over something that maybe, is, you know, what this really kind of makes me think about actually is my new book, How to Be Your Own Genie. And this is, I'm super proud of my cards, but I might be, even more proud of this book than I have ever been of anything at all. Um, and I just, I just love that this book, one of the things it seems to be doing for people is really helping people to get control of what they're manifesting in their life. And that's the purpose. The two things that I consider my life purpose is taking the fear out of spirituality and showing people that life is magic. And so this book really does help people get control over over those things that are going on in their life that are help that are manifesting things like unnecessary fear that we were talking about um, just a moment ago. So, um, you know, get control of your thoughts, get control of what you're manifesting in your life. And I think that's one of the most important things that you can do right now. Someone. <clears throat> On Instagram, I didn't catch the name, but they said that they had just come from church and they wanted me to pull a card. And while I am, I, while I don't ascribe to any religion at all, at all, one of the things that I feel like is heartwarming to me is that this person came from church and, and they still are sitting here talking to me and saying, uh, I, I want a card. And see, what I love about that is that that makes God so big, like God is supposed to be, or the universe, or the divine, or source, I don't, or goddess, I don't care what you call it. But that person isn't putting God in a little tiny box and saying, if I go to church, that then I, I, I then I can't draw a card. So I love that. And so mwah to you guys. And yes, I'll pull a card for you. I will absolutely pull a card for you. I'm going to pull that card. Uh, actually, I'm going to pull that card from Angel Answers uh, Oracle Cards. Um, and Gail just said that the reading was spot on. So see, sometimes, sometimes we don't need a specific question. Sometimes we can just get, you know, we can, if we just listen to the angels and trust the angels, then we can get exactly what we need, um, what we need. So, so the card for you is abundance. It's abundance. And that's a really great card. So, this to me says that, you know, your prayers that you've been praying, and I think you said it was to Archangel Michael, but the prayers that you've been praying will bring prosperity and abundance into your life. And it might be financial abundance, but it might also just be the kind of abundance that where you feel like life is abundant, where you feel like life is wonderful, where you feel like life is joyful. Let me take a look at this card. I'll show it to you in a minute, Facebook. I just want to really show her this card um, uh, or him. I don't know who you, I don't know what, what you, <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, so there, or an abundance of love, like someone said, but you can see here, you know, just how happy and joyful this particular card is. So I, I like that. So thank you for, for letting that happen. You know, one of the, I think one of the things I want to do too 
is I want to take a second and I want to, I want to just kind of give you something out of Genie. So I'm just going to let the pages fly by and let's see. Okay, so this is a chapter that's called Signs of the Times, Signs of the Times. And so one of the things that I truly believe in is that the universe is constantly chatting us up, constantly talking to us. And it, one of the ways that it does that is through signs. And in the book, I kind of give you some 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 um, tips on how to be awake to those signs, to how to how to notice those signs, because that is one of the ways that the universe will talk to us. Some of you who have given you guardian angel names, you may find that one of the things that happens this week is you come across those names, or you come across something that sort of looks like those names, and that is validation. That is validation. Or maybe you'll start seeing images of guardian angels that just sort of pop off of a Christmas tree or something that you kind of see. In fact, you can see here on Instagram, see that feather right there? Uh, and Facebook, you can't see it on Facebook because I'm blocking it. But <clears throat> um, on Instagram, that feather was given to me by my friend Heather Hildebrand, and it's an angel feather. And so things like that that you might see will give you, yes, it is exactly ray of light. It's synchronicity, and it is a very powerful way that the angels talk to us. And I'll talk to you more about that on in the U.S., Friday, December 29th at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, and in Sydney on Saturday, December 30th at 9 a.m. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Um, oh. So, okay, let's see if we can find that one. Um, gosh, I don't like this change that my software made. It makes it really hard to, to find questions. Um, I need to like, um, did I get it? Yes, I got it. Morning, Rad. Hope you're having a great day. I'm feeling kind of blocked in terms of receiving messages about my upcoming business. I have a book I want to write for my alma mater's retiring president, hmm, but I want to pass it through my business. I'm just wondering if I will be able to start the business in time to have it published and give it to him. Thank you for your insight. I have a book I want to write for my alma mater's retiring president, but I want to pass it through my business. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, Lou, well, let's just take a look. I don't, um, okay, let's just take a look. So I feel like that for that, I want to go to, um, I'm feeling like fairy trope cards, so I'm going to go there. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, dude, no problem. I mean, my gosh, I mean, uh, the first card is the sun, which is success. The next card is the wheel, which is a things, a passage of time, but also when we feel a little stuck, like you said, you felt blocked. Um, you said you felt blocked. Well, the wheel certainly unblocks us. It's ruled by Jupiter. It's, it's, you know, good luck where things have not been moving and they really start to move. And then three of summer, which is celebration, but also happy, joyful um, um, announcements like graduation, but it can also be retirement. And so, yeah, I think you're, I mean, these are really good cards. You're fine. You don't need me. <laughs> you're fine. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. Hi, Instagram. Uh, let's see. Um uh, Love Light Reading says, Hi, Riley. Can I please have my angel names and any guidance that comes through that I need right now? Thank you so much. Love Light Readings. 
Okay, so I'm getting the name Josiah, J-O-S-I-A-H, Josiah, Josiah. And I'm also, these are, it's so funny to me because, you know, it's like, for I don't know why I expect this. I expect that when I get this, you know, um, exotic name that I'm, all the names are going to be exotic or, or that if all the names are very traditional, then all the names will be traditional. But here we've got Josiah, which I think is kind of a traditional name. I think it's biblical. I'm not sure. But then I got Piper. <laughs> don't laugh too much, Bradley. <clears throat> and then I got Piper. And so it's like, it's hilarious that it's like they're so different, you know. So Josiah and Piper, the Piper is a feminine energy. The Josiah is obviously a masculine energy. The fe- this Piper, this Piper chick is very happy, joyful. This is a very, um, it's almost like a giggly, um, um, I don't want to, I'm going to say giggly 19 year old energy. I don't know. That's just what it feels like to be. It feels like this kid that you uh, raised. um, I know Kismet. Thank you. But if I laugh, I'm going to be out of here because I'll start to cough. So maybe next week. Um, So um, I'm a very, very happy, very joyful energy. Um, very light, like a feather. Uh, like she's, she's laughing, saying light, like a, like an angel feather. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, she just wants you to know that 2018 is going to, uh, far exceed anything that you can imagine. It's going to be way, way better than, the last few years, she says that you'll say thank goodness. <clears throat> um, and that she and Josiah will be there for you in all ways. <clears throat> so um, everybody's saying you miss my laughter. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It's just that. I know if I start laughing, then I'm going to start coughing. And so I have been uh, really holding that, holding back the, the desire to, to laugh, even though it's very much there. And so I really feel like um, my voice is starting to go. So I really need to stop and, 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 uh, and stop. (laughs) I really need to stop. So uh, if you're just joining us uh, again, please, 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 uh, you can go back to the beginning of this video and get your angel messages for the week of December 18th through the 24th. Um, Check out my new book, How to Be Your Own Genie. It really is helping people to manifest all kinds of amazing, magical things. They're posting it on on my Facebook pages and my private groups. And and so I'm super excited. about that and super blessed that if I could have, if I've written something that helps people, then my heart is full. Um, uh, I will be back with you guys on, on next Sunday, December 24th. It's my favorite day of the year. And I really want to spend a little bit of that with you. And I want to share some things with you about the 24th and why it's so important to me and why it matters to me. And of course I will have your angel messages as well. So y'all have an amazing week. Um, don't get too caught up in the material stuff. Remember the reading, uh, be stay in your happy place, uh, dance your happy dance. I love all you guys. Um, enjoy this beautiful week of holidays of light. And remember life is magic.